Well, surprise, surprise, and hello from Baltimore. Zach Hample with you here at Camden Yards. And listen, at the end of my last video, which was filmed at Yankee Stadium, I said that I was gonna be back there the next day, sitting in the fancy seats. And guys, I tried. I gotta just tell you and show you quickly what happened. I was there, and unfortunately, it turned out to be a very wet and soggy day. There was absolutely nothing happening early on, so I went back inside the fancy restaurant with all the free food and stuffed my face. Look how much food I got for dinner, and yes, I really did eat all of that. And of course, after that, I also got some dessert as well. And do you guys wanna guess what happened next? Well, I hung out with a bunch of fans, which was fun. Everyone was being so cool, but then the game got postponed. It started raining like crazy, and that was the end of the night for me. And so, here I am in Baltimore. I could have been back there today, sitting in the legends watching Shohei pitch, but I gave that up because I'm a complete idiot. Or we'll find out later tonight if I'm an idiot. Really, the reason that I'm here is that Adley Rutschman, the young phenom catcher, the rookie on the Orioles, has yet to hit a home run as of this moment. I'm not sure when I'll actually post this video, but right now, zero home runs, so that's the goal. I got this shirt, it's a home run thing, maybe it'll bring me some luck. So this stadium's gonna open up soon, let's get in there, I'll tell you more about Adley on the inside, and hopefully there's some magic in the air here tonight. This stadium is absolutely glorious. It's been my favorite place for years, but I have to rethink that now. Based on the monstrosity right behind me, they changed the configuration, took out a bunch of seats. I'll talk about it later. For right now, I actually want to head over closer to the Orioles side because another complaint about this place is that they changed the gate times. They opened just one hour early. It was the same nonsense last year. Guys, contact the team and let them know that you don't like it. Go to their website, scroll to the bottom. There's a little contact us link. Do it because teams really need to open earlier than 60 minutes early. The tarp, well, it's on the field, so there would not have been batting practice anyway today, but I mean, I've talked about this before. You gotta let fans inside earlier. So game time is only like 40 minutes away, and I do want to see Adley when he comes out onto the field. So to the first base side we go. Slight change of plans. I am running once again through the seats because I see a couple of Mariners players playing catch. I'll pause for a second. Way out in left center, center field. Try not to bang my shins on these cup holders. So I wanna see if I can get on the board quickly and then I guess head back to the first base side. <sighs> one, two, three, we got it. Thanks guys, appreciate All it. All good, thanks for saying hey. Oh man, I just had to make a quick wardrobe change, throw on the Mariner's hat. You got a ball yet? You want this one? Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Oh, so, this is why I was always running around and when people are like, hey Zach, quick photo, and I'm like, all right, can we do it fast, guys? I gotta get halfway across the stadium. I'm not trying to be rude. I sense that there are opportunities when it comes right down to the second, and today it just barely worked out. So, on the board, I can relax a little bit, and uh, yeah, probably head back over there in a bit after I hang out with these guys. What's up? What's up? All right, so. Yeah, thanks, what's the ball count? Uh, one, that's it, that's the ball count. So. That's all we we can throw the Orioles hat back on. Don't want to piss off the locals. I'm in. Can I get a picture? 
Sure. So guys, check this out. I was just handing out a few of these earlier. It's been a while since I mentioned this film in one of my YouTube videos. Zach Campbell vs. The World. It's 95 minutes long. It's amazing. And I will link in the description to where you can watch this thing. There's some info on the back. This is when Aaron Judge robbed me in the 2017 ALDS at Yankee Stadium. So, anyway, this is yours, so... Oh God, yeah, but seriously guys, watch the film. Oh, where are you dropping? Oh, I got it. Thank you, Mr. Carhartt. Oh my God. Hey. Hey, brother. Hey, can you show? This guy is the best. Well, he's making everybody happy for sure, especially me in other baseball. <laughs> What's up? We love you! I guess he doesn't love us, but we still love him. All right, so change of plans yet again. As long as Adley is out here in the bullpen, I figure it only makes sense to head out this way and get as close to him as we can as a baseball is just rattling around. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Person. Did you get that? I got like the final three seconds of it. Oh my god. They're chucking balls up. I'm gonna throw it to them. You guys want it? So that last ball that I got, yeah, they were chucking baseballs up from the bullpen. I guess they were aiming for the kids in the second deck. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw one fly up. And if you come over this way for one second, can you see, come all the way out here. Can you see that metal support beam, the dark green beam that sort of slants up? The ball hit that. And that's when my videographer today, shout out to Rachel, uh, filmed it. So let's do a slow-mo instant replay and you can see exactly what happened when it dropped down. Signing baseballs for people in the second deck ain't no thing. I appreciate it, thank you. So there we go. At the start of the day, it was 11,771, and I've gotten three baseballs now, so. You're welcome. All right. Huh. All right. Now, let's go see Adley as close as we can. All right, that was pretty fun right there. The Orioles have some sort of game in the bullpen where every pitcher gets one shot to toss a baseball from the mound as close as they can to home plate. And whoever gets closest wins that round. And then they have this really cool ball that Ben Carhart tossed up to me. That's the bullpen catcher who came over and chatted with me earlier on the right side of the batter's eye. This thing is insane looking. It's so decorative, all this writing. Very cool to see it up close. I've never seen anything like that before. So great to get a look at that. And right now, well, you can see where I am. 
deep in right center field. This game is underway, and there are a lot of empty seats out here. A lot of opportunities to catch home runs, more in right field now than left. Of course, they moved the fences in. I think I might talk about the left field wall tomorrow. I am planning to come back. So Adley Rutschman will be batting from the left side, and I'm thinking, I don't know, somewhere right out in there. Or, you know, there's always the flag court that way. So, yeah, at this point, I can only hope that he gets a hold of one. The Orioles are off to a hot start. They put up a two spot in the first inning and Adley, well, he hit the ball hard, but it was right at the right fielder. So it's a shame he didn't elevate that thing because it would have gotten interesting out here in the right field seats. Now, Adley this year has had 39 at bats. He has not only zero home runs, but zero RBIs. So he's really got to get something going and he will. He's going to be great. Three years ago in 2019, he was the first overall pick in the draft. And right now he's the number one prospect in all of baseball. At the start of the season, the top prospect, well, that was Bobby Witt Jr. And you guys, if you've been watching, you saw me in Kansas City trying to catch his first. He didn't hit it. Then I went to Chicago, Royals versus White Sox. He didn't hit it. So that was a bummer. And now he's playing a lot better. So, you know, Adley is struggling to get things going, but I'm telling you, he's gonna be a stud. As that ball is a single to left field for the Mariners. And one more thing for right now. By the way, we're in the top of the third inning. This shirt. I showed you earlier. If you want to get one for yourself, this is part of my merch line. So check out zachhampel.com slash merch. You did it! You did it! Now she has to wear a catch-up shirt to the next game. This mustard fan has to wear a catch-up shirt to the next game, and I'm so happy. I would like you all to know that this is my buddy Kyle. What's up? Hello. We have known each other officially forever. <laughs> Good seeing you. Good seeing you. have moved along to the top of the sixth inning. The Orioles are on top three to two. Julio Rodriguez is now on first base after beating out an infield hit. And I want to show you my very sad dinner. It's a protein bar. It melted in my bag. I've already taken a bite. I mean, guys, I have stooped very, very low. going to tell you guys anyway, uh, there's a long pitching change. I think one of the Orioles players got hurt, the, the pitcher. So that's why this is an extended break. Ty France, 
who's having a very good season, is coming up with the bases loaded. And even though left field here sucks now, I thought I'd still take a shot at catching a grand slam. So, yeah, let's do it. Want it? Mr. France struck out, which is a bummer, but Julio Rodriguez is up, and he's great. So, two balls, two strikes right now. Let's see it, J-Rod. And now back to right field because Rutschman is coming up second in the next inning. The flag court. I've finally made it out here tonight after all. You know what? I think I got to play Rutschman here. Even if there's more competition, I'm just... Looking at the seats, if you want to follow me this way for a second. There are empty seats out there, but I just think he's more likely to hit one here. And I think we're going to hear him get announced any second. Wait for it. Section number 35, Adley Excited! A chance to catch history. Let's go! hard to see. Well, it's hard to talk with all that noise, but if you look right in between the bodies through that fence in the front, you can just see a little sliver of the batter, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Almost hit him on that one. Wait a minute. They did hit him? They hit him? drive down to Baltimore to see a hit by pitch. Boom! Holy shit, you guys. Jesse Winker just hit a ground rule double that skipped up exactly to where I was sitting for the first, what, six innings of the game. Oh. In the bottom of the seventh, when Mr. Adley Rutschman stepped up to the plate, there was a whole lot of excitement on the flag court and a whole lot of trash talking as well. And all of that was for nothing. Meanwhile, the game itself was pretty exciting. It was tied going into the ninth inning, and at one point, Rugnet Odor gave everyone out here a reason to take off running. That ball ended up going foul, but it was nice just to feel a little bit of excitement for a moment. On a personal note, one other cool thing that happened was getting to sign an authenticated baseball. I'm not sure if I've ever done that before, and it really was an honor. Other than that, it was just a whole lot of standing around in anticipation with absolutely no payoff. The Mariners scored one run in the top of the 10th, and in the bottom of the frame, you want to guess who made the final out? That's right, Adley Rutschman. In a potential walk-off situation, he hit a weak line drive into the shift, caught by the second baseman, to close out the night. It was an exciting game, but unfortunately, there were no home runs. And Rutschman, he took an offer to lower his batting average to 163. Final score, Mariners seven, Orioles six, and I got one more baseball tossed by the friendly usher. He said he grabbed that one early before the gates opened. So that was my fifth of the day. You can see where I am right now, out here on Utah Street. As always, one of the last fans inside the stadium. So the five baseballs, including the ones I gave away, that brings the lifetime total to 11,776. So that's pretty cool. I will be back here tomorrow. If Adley had hit one, I might have gone back to New York, but 
I got my hotel for another night, the rental car, so might as well stay and catch it if you can actually do something. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for one more Orioles video coming next.